fancy seeing you guys here. Welcome back to another match vlog. Here with my main man, Benny C. <laughs> How are you, mate? I'm good, it's a nice day. Like, it's been a bad weekend for football for, for Arsenal. But... I thought I'd get an Arsenal fan involved because obviously they missed out on being in such a lucrative competition as uh, we're going to be going to the first game tonight against Valencia. <laughs> I thought I'd do my bit for the environment here in London by bringing an Arsenal fan. Thanks for David to the, uh That's all right, no worries. <laughs> He's let us down. <laughs> yeah, so he, he secretly told me he was going to come on the, uh, on the video we did with him. Where are we, Benny? So we're at St. Catherine Docks uh, in like central London, yeah. so near Tower Bridge. Thought we'd do a little cultural tour of London. We normally approach from the west, getting in at Paddington, jumping on the train, getting on the district line to Fulham Broadway, as it is such a beautiful September's day. And we're back in the Champions League, which I'm very excited about. Thought I'd take you somewhere new. So St. Catherine's Docks, this is uh, Benny's new boat. Lovely, isn't it? Ad revenue's good at this time of year. How's it going? I have a present for you. Good. Legend. Two tickets. And we're filming as well, Thank so you. you can give us a prediction. <laughs> a lot of you will know who this man is. This is Eunice. He's got an unbelievable Chelsea channel. Link in the description. <laughs> Thank prediction. you. Thank you. Thank you. Prediction. I said 3 1 yesterday. You did. And I'm sticking with it. We did agree I'm on that as well. With it, yeah. I was chatting to Eunice on DM. I said 3 1. I didn't actually give my prediction in my preview, so I'm saying 3 1 as well. Actually, no, I'm going to say something different just because. 4 2. 4, <laughs> four, four 2. <laughs> Kevin Gamero is going to score a bicycle kick. He's a Jorginho penalty. It was at this moment he knew. Oh, fair. They're going to be aggressive. Fair. They're, they're angry, so they're going to be aggressive, cutting in with tackles, and then Jorginho is going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah, that'll work. I, st I don't think he'll miss a penalty. I think he'll go on a run like Lampard. And when he will. does, and when he's he does, off penalties gonna... forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we moved away now from the craziness that is Bank and Monument Station at rush hour on a midweek game. Champions League, you get a different kind of issue in terms of getting to the stadium. You get all of the rush hour traffic, but we made it to Fulham Broadway at the station now. Gonna head around, gonna get into the... Follow the blue signs where it says stadium. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, I'm at Fully B. Probably more past this, mate. I'm past that right now. I'm opposite HSBC, that, that, that pub, that bank, I mean. I thought you'd have been walking from Putney to Fulham Broadway because it's such a nice day, but I guess you're lazy and you've got the tube. <laughs> Jan, really off the cuff. I thought I'd start filming you as soon as you walk in the gaff. Cool, man. Prediction, throw me. 3-1 uh, Chelsea. We can't... It. You're like every person. Uh, Everyone I spoke uh, to said 3-1. Feel good factor, can't keep a clean sheet. Although they were in turmoil, they're going to be like enraged, I think he said. I think there might be a camaraderie from their situation at the club. So to be honest, man, I feel like they're going to be... Anything could happen and I'm terrified. Yeah. Slowly. Okay, yeah. I'll try my best. What's your name, buddy? Sergi. Sergi? Yeah. What's I'm name? George. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet this you. video will be going out on the George Benson Football Channel. Subscribe. What can Chelsea expect from Valencia tonight? There's been a few things happening off the pitch that, of course, are a little bit chaotic right now. What would you say about that? I think you're going to win. <laughs> you think we're going to win? You've yeah. come all the way to England. Because we've our last uh, coach. Yeah. Fired out. Fired out. What, yeah. Why is that? What happened? Because they are the property of the, of the club. Yeah. Uh, one, only want to to win money. So it's a it's a money thing. And what yeah. what did the manager do no, wrong? Not, it's not a club, Valencia. No. It's, it's not a, a club. No. It's only wow. a thing to win money. Valencia were a big powerhouse in European football, and I'm excited when I see Chelsea versus Valencia. I think it's a huge game of football. So what do you think the score is going to be? We said Chelsea going to win, but what score? I think if you if you score before the, la the 30 minutes, you win. If we arrive uh, to the 60 minutes, zero, uh, zero drop, we win. <laughs> you think you'll win if it's nil-nil after 60 minutes? Yeah. Sergi, thank you very okay. much. I'd You're love welcome. to wish you luck, but I can't wish you luck. Oh, so yeah. much <laughs> Thanks. But enjoy, enjoy your time here. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thank 
We're here tonight with Nissan in the Champions Club. They hand you out like this piece of paper which gives you the team sheets. It's pretty decent. We've got Kepper in goal. We've got exactly the same team that started the game against Wolves, apart from Kurt Zuma at the back instead of Rudiger, obviously, because of the injury. Quite surprised by this. I thought we were going to see a little bit of rotation from Frank Lampard. I thought Pulisic was going to come back in. Maybe Giroud was going to start over Tammy, but obviously I said in my preview and everything else, I thought Tammy was going to start as well. As for Valencia, there's not really any real surprises in their lineup apart from the formation. They got a 4-2-4, which is them going for things. They got a brand new manager, as Sergi said a minute ago. Obviously, there's a bit of turmoil going on at Valencia right now, so tactics are probably out the window. It's just a case of the players turning up and doing their best tonight. We've not got your prediction, right. Lawrence. What is it? 3-1 Chelsea. 3-1. <laughs> All right, we'll take a bit of that. Bumps for the anthem, some people don't like it, I flipping love it. Here we go, Chelsea Valencia, group stage, game one, let's go. Pedro's coming on. Shame for him. 16 minutes into his Champions League debut, and he's already been bought off for no fault of his own. That's the height of Play Williams. Well done, Samori. Well played. William is the only bright spark right now. Chelsea pressuring now. 43 minutes, 0 0. It's the only exciting thing to talk about in the first half how much the referee blows his nice, new, fancy, shiny whistle. Alright, oh, nil-nil at half-time. Not the greatest first half of football I've ever seen. Mason Mount goes off injured, which was probably the highlight of the half. And sadly, it's for all the wrong reasons at this point. Chelsea, the first team out for the start of the second half. Valencia is still in the changing room, probably arguing amongst themselves, to be honest. It's not been the best game. Chelsea got to make the most of this. We need to wake up a little bit, making some poor decisions, getting caught out. Valencia are getting in behind as well, which could end up being costly. Second half, let's hope it's better than the first. Oh no! Wake up! Dragging it back. Free shot for their number nine. You know what the sad thing is? This game's crying out for Mason Mount. He's been bought off. Someone needs to make some space. Oh, what a save. Jesper Sillison. Why can't we have Salzburg versus Genk? It's 6-2. I was remembering what Serge I said outside the ground before the game. He said 60 minutes, nil-nil, Valencia will win this game. I like Sergi, but I don't like what he said there because I'm a bit worried now. Oh no! Well done to Maury! Kepa. Oh my goodness! It's at this point where nobody knows what's going on. The referee's checking the video assistant referee to see if he's going to reward Chelsea a penalty. He's not going to give it. Chelsea have just been beaten. I won't lie, that was one of the most feeble performances I think I've seen in a long, long time. After the brilliance of the performance at Wolves, to see something like that tonight, just completely lack of ideas, completely lack of movement. I think everything in the first half was done about four seconds after it should have been done, which is something I've actually already said once this season. 
The movement on either side of the pitch was too slow. Tammy wasn't up to it today. I'm not going to blame anybody for individuals for the way that we played. I think William was very good in this game. But, oh man, like this Valencia team, they're in turmoil right now. They came here and I was watching the game in the first half. It was so flat. It was there for the taking and we needed somebody to step up, a leader, to come in and do something special. And I hate to say it, but it's a match like this tonight on a European night under the lights that Chelsea miss that man Eden Hazard. If we had someone like him tonight, we wouldn't have lost this game 1-0. We'd have won it about 3-0. He'd have changed the game, but we don't have someone like that anymore. We've got to rely on teamwork. We've got to rely on everybody together. And tonight, there was no together. It was all individuals trying to do little things. We couldn't string more than two or three passes together without losing the ball. Credit to Valencia. Their away end is half empty, yet their fans are going absolutely wild. Great away win for them. Sergi said it, we met him before the game, he said if the game is nil-nil with half an hour to go, they'll win this game. And he was 100% right. Valencia were there, they took their chances, a couple of times from corners, don't know why they're playing this music, no one wants to hear that. Chelsea were awful this evening, that was a really poor performance. And we've got to mention VAR, we've got to mention the penalty. I've not had a chance to see it yet at the time of me recording this. We'll look into it more after six things that we learned. But penalty was given after about, I don't know how many minutes of deliberation between the referee and this screen and that screen. And then Ross Barr, what's he doing with that penalty, man? He runs up to it, he just blasts it. It's awful, it's awful. Jorginho's there rolling up his shorts for half the game. Why hasn't he taken that penalty? I've just seen now, as Villaqueta last one down the tunnel, we might not have got hammered. We lost 1-0, but Chelsea should hold up their hands today and admit that that was an awful performance. One of the worst I've seen in Europe. Even when we've been beaten, we've given it more heart than that. That was poor. And if we play like that, we're not gonna get out of this group. Like this is a reality check of all reality checks. We can go to Wolves and win, but if we can't do it at home against a team in disarray like Valencia, like they are. They weren't great tonight. Valencia weren't good. I think Kondogbia controlled the game in the middle for them. It was there for the taking. We had no one on the pitch to make the difference. That is it from me. Thank you to Nissan for having me. Unfortunately, it's not been the way we wanted it to go. Chelsea dominate possession, dominate the shots, dominate attempts on target. Force Jess Basilison into more saves, but at the end of the day, the only statistic that matters in football is the goals. Chelsea nil, Valencia one. We got work to do. We got Lille away in a couple of weeks' time. Gonna have to go there and win now. I said three wins out of three at home was essential, and we've already screwed that. I'm not happy. Six things we learn out later. Catch you in a bit.